No, I'm just filming what's, what's there and roughly how much. Uh, no, I've just bought those sours there for 20 bucks. Oh, yeah. yeah. You just bought them? Yeah, for 20 bucks. Bought for 20 dollars? No, no, that lot for 20 bucks. Yeah. Mm. Last year, right? Mm -hmm. The seed. Yeah. And I put the seed in and light the temple, and that's the outcome. This is this plant here. Oh, oh so is which one? That one. That one. That's okay. that. I'll, I'll do a I just want to see, they want to show, you know, mm -hmm. like, because on the picture you can't see it that good, but mm -hmm. in, in, in six months. Hmm, not bad. From seed. It's not bad, is it? Oh, yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. the, that, the, oil been, the, the picture's been done about eight days ago. All oh, right. All of them. Oh, well, don't you like looking at these? Oh, that's a nice flower there. It's an orchid, isn't it? Yeah, orchids. Hmm. And that is a torncada. Have a look at it. How big is your have, greenhouse? Have, have a look at the thing. That's oh, a foot. Oh, wow. That's a foot up to here. Mm -hmm. Look how big the leaves is. Oh, wow. Not only one, but three leaves like that. Oh, wow. Mm. That is a master's yarno. Mm -hmm. I've got it in a different greenhouse. All right. Yeah, we're driving along the silicon car, but all over the way. I've got even tomatoes in my greenhouse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a formula out there, see? All oh, right. This, oh, this yeah. pond is that big, there's a big pot, oh, right. this big. How big? That big. Oh, right. mm -hmm. It's a huge pot, this one. Mm -hmm. There's some cycles. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I've took all the pictures just about eight days ago. Oh. He asked me to bring a few pictures, I was going to bring them along. Yeah? Mm -hmm. This is, I bought, I made this picture because this plant there, mm -hmm. that is a, that is, no, 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 what do you mean? This is the one what you got here in front. Yeah. It just shows a, shows a bit of a different light. Yeah, but it makes it go yucky, but it shows the thing. I'll just put this in. Yeah, the center is covered. Yeah, it's yeah. 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 Is this your video camera? Partly. Just one, just one. Can you see, can actually, it's got output on it. Yeah, a um, little um, thing. And I put the seed in. It's open. JLRP socket. It's not that one at all, really. These, these photos were taken eight days ago. Can I? How many tickets? Yes, please. How many? 100? The five sand, the hour to hour snake sand. This one here is that one there. This one here. Oh, that's one. That's from seed. <coughs> Not even half a year old. Yeah. Well, they, 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 they grow like weeds. They do. I keep, I keep, I keep cutting it off and throwing away. Supposed to say, the panties grow like weeds, bastards. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. I just chop them down. They cut out the lilac from the orchids in the glass there. So I've got to keep yeah. every year you prune yeah, yeah, them yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, sure. 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 Sure.
It loses a big pot, this bright pot, that big. The blind, you know, that line. It's not a tiller pillar, that's a pot of something. That's a cycle. Yeah, that's. Um, Family. Yeah, family. 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 Family.
even bigger. But these are flowers first, and then there are yeah, features in these two branches. Sort of buried between pink and white flowers, do I think? I think they're the same. Yeah. Just the color of the, of the flower is different. I only show this because of, I wanted to show how fast they go. Yeah, it's not like the competition. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was grown from seed. I'm going to from seed last, last December. After Christmas, I did seed them. So not even six months in seed. They are rather interesting. Yeah, they usually grow a little bit slower than that, I guess. Yeah, that's really what I'm going on. That's this one. Yeah. The rear part here. Wow. Yeah. That's this one. This Does one. Does that have to go to the bed? These are so easy to grow. These are four of those five plants are mine. I've got mine in there. There's a good chance of winning the other day. It's irrelevant. Yeah, I know you win. No, I just I can't believe it. Other people are not growing them. They're, they're, they're easy, easy to grow. grow. I do call it, but I've got to be involved. And it's going to take a lot of this. I've got to be involved. You need a bad guy. That was the best. Drive it down here. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to lose this if we're walking around that high. Probably the cost of getting from Mr. Mr. Allen. Mr. Allen. Mr. Allen. I had their titles, this type of similar to that, their title. And they might see the day this year, it's all tons of little stuff coming out everywhere. Really, we're doing it. Just everywhere. You really see it. Come up from the forest. I guess we should put it on the forest. Yeah, it's true. Please excuse me. Do our usual trick and vote for the show of hands who likes which plant? So if you like the plant I point to, put your hand up. What about this one here? Pretty, pretty close to being here, I think. I don't have to worry about looking in the others. Okay, well, move on. So it's a pretty impressive plant. Now. It's like the track room. Yeah, so we're under the rosette. Crossroad, and we've got a... Oh, sunglasses to look at. Yeah. <laughs> What's the difference? Get some... All the different ones are gold. Metally stuff, what was it again, Richard? Oh, it's silicon carbide. Oh. So, yeah, I think he said that. growing it in it, or is it just on the top? Just on the top. That's for effect, or... I have grown um, Pifolia in pure silicon carbide, and, yeah, it went quite well. Is that a benefit to the plant, or just to, just to make oh, it... Oh, it's because it's very pure sand, so if you want to do nutrient experiments and you want to have nothing else oh, there... Use silicon carbide because you can also get it in the size you want. Here they go from a grip 40 to 400. And 400 is like talcum powder, and 40 is, uh, uh, is, is that. That's 40 actually. Is that expensive? Um, yes, it's um, yeah, about six times more expensive than sand. And it's about, uh, it weighs the same as damp sand, even though when it's dry. It what, what's the industrial use for it? Oh, uh, grinding, uh, polishing stones. Oh, and stones to <laughs> but because they need <laughs> but because the, the strength comes with the purity that's why it's very pure because they need to get it very that the, the um, carbon and the silicon they use is purified first in order to make the silicon carbide and therefore it's very pure do you do anything special to get these to plant or they usually not no, shy flowering just came up I might have to sow down there I don't know if they're still there but I, I put some silt in the soil and I've, I've discovered <coughs> that it's, it's magnetic, like it sort of 
because I mean, I saw bass colonies of them. Uh, it sort of like collects around them. Uh, I was playing around with some magnets, and it, it sort of the silt in the water just went just to the magnet and just sort of disappeared from the water and then around the magnet. So well, if that has anything to do with it. Area, they usually don't flower unless there's actually been some sort of bushfire or something, sort of through the area. <coughs> you know, something something we're doing right in culture, I guess, to get them to the flower. Got a land tag on this one. I'm guessing it's probably Wataka, right? Which is another one sort of found pretty common throughout the Adelaide Hills and pretty all the way. Well, the well, <laughs> too damn common, though. Mm. <laughs> found all the way down to. I think it actually starts to change to that form that Alan Larry actually mentioned in his last book, Some Species of Darren, or something mm. like that, which is. Mm. Um, with the stones? Yeah, yeah. stones. So it's sort of a bit debatable, mm -hmm. I guess, whether it is actually a different... No, because down there they don't grow these ones. <laughs> Just with the stones, which... Mm. I've, I've and a little bit smaller mm. than these ones. I've actually got some growing, and they're, they're pretty almost undistinguishable from, from these. <laughs> he probably just popped you off with all the stuff. I don't know, but yeah. And this one would be the other one in the Adelaide Hills, which would be the Crossroad Crayfolia, which is again related to this particular one here, but usually grows a bit, quite a bit bigger. And although this particular one hasn't flowered, they usually flower before they actually the rosette sort of breaks out of the ground. You can see that on this one here. You can see like that one here, a couple of yeah. flowers still left there. Any more? I'm guessing that's probably Wataka as well. Yeah. And more Praetolia there, same as that one, but it's obviously grown in a little bit less light. Perhaps there's a red tinge on that one. Yeah. It's, it's actually tall light, isn't it? You're, you're very green plants, Brian, I mean. I mean, you're chopping out some trees, but they're all in the neighbour's place. Yeah. <coughs> Rather colourful looking. Uh, not uh, uh, for a yeah. 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 Not do a hollow and put some copper sulfate in a hole. Oh. Rowley yeah. family, is it? That's yours, is it? Yeah, Rowley family. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've actually seen these ones in Mark Stewart's place in some suburb out of Perth, which is sort of the east of it. And they just all grow through the red, orangey coloured laterite soil, which is pretty common in the, in the hills around there. And they're certainly very, very red. They're pretty much all maroon all over. And what on earth is this one? Crossrolaria. I believe is, well I don't actually know too much about that, but it sort of looks a bit like Wataka Ryan, I think, who is that one? No. Sure. Do they usually flower before they actually break them down? Or no. They don't, so they just, just started flowering recently, but I don't mm. look at those ones. They haven't opened them. <laughs> they haven't opened yet, have they? No, no that one looks like it, huh? That one's well, maybe sort of... Maybe one wasn't home. There. I haven't seen it open. And this one's probably one of my favourite of the uh, the rosette crossroad, which is the crossroad uh, scenario. Mm. And these are certainly uh, bigger than any plant arts that I've seen within WA. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Who, whoever owns that plant, they know how big the tubers are. <laughs> Monsters. Um, probably breaking the pot there. Do you know how big they are? I can't remember. Okay. It's just a big plant. It is, it's a whopper. I mean, I've never grown them this big before either. Is that like an only to 60 or 70 millimetre? I measured that the other week, 95. Yeah, that's the ones that I've seen are only, yeah, probably only about that big compared to those ones. The only difference is being a little bit of colour, a little bit yellow or just a tinge of red in the wine. Just bright sunlight to stump the size of it. I think you're going to have to rig up some lamps, some ultraviolet lamps in your greenhouse, and then you just walk away with the prize next to you, I think, Brian. <laughs> yeah, roll the stone red, we'll call it. I don't give them anything. Um, they look good. All I do is leave the door of the greenhouse open so they get, you know, insects can get in there. There's a, green, a few on there. There's a little tiny worm in one. Yeah, there's a little. Do you fertilise them? No. You're kidding. Just want to say, yes, Richard, fertilise them all the no, you bash the pots. <laughs> Grossero orbiculata, oh. which certainly looks like Grossero yeah. orbiculata in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't look real flesh, but uh, it, I just brought it in because I can't remember seeing it here before <coughs> at a meeting. Yeah. And uh, I bought the tuber from Alan Lowry earlier in the year. 
And I bought about half a dozen or no, maybe eight or nine different species that I hadn't, didn't have. And uh, I was amazed that every one of the tubers I, I got were just minuscule in size. Hmm. I, I couldn't believe it. It almost looks as if he goes through them and picks out the small ones. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, so I you can sell them at a reasonable price. I, I brought from no. him. I brought from him uh, the specials. So what is it? The fifteen for. Yeah. So many. Uh, I've heard about sixty or so tubers. It's not that much to light up the map. There are some out. Some of them are nice, nice, but I don't think I've got sixty. <laughs> I got about 60 tubers, but I put them all in one area and just put them all out. Well, I, I've, of, the, uh, of the eight or nine species I bought, I think I've got about four of them up at the moment. The others haven't come yet, so when we're going to yeah. grow or not, I don't know. But I might be a bit lighter too. <laughs> Maybe I should uh, send him over consignment with my fertilizer so he can pump the tubers up before he sends them out. It's already flowered, but it's not as well, yeah. It's not, it's not only that, in the orchid trade, it's the same. They send these minuscule little flasks down from Queensland. There's no way in hell you'd ever take them out of a flask to grow them. No. Too small. Yeah, we, I just take them straight down and get them replated and grow them up for another year. Yeah. So I take them out. All they're interested, I think, is getting them out and selling them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I believe the best was point, they are, they are somehow lighter, the bombs. <coughs> and even, like I said, in my place, the plants are by far not, you know, I've got a few tubules, ones, but by far not the size what I see here. You know? right. and, and last, when I was here last <coughs> time, it was the same thing. You had plants here that was all very developed, and mine was just coming out. It's so somehow, it doesn't seem to be lighter. I, I, re I repotted mine about mid to late January, February, and I put them in a, in a fairly damp mix and then I put those pots on a lower bench in the greenhouse where my sarrows were still growing and I, with the intention that they'd stay damp in there for quite a while and wouldn't dry out. And I was trying to induce early growth. Whether it had any effect, I don't know, but maybe it did. Well, in the end, we're getting a longer growing season no, so no, you can no, get... just, I just wanted them to oh. come up quicker. Mm -hmm. All right. Do we have a vote on this one, are we? Are we done them all? Yeah. Those are the guests, we're going to have to go for that one yeah. first. We'll show of hands for that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's carried. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Chris. Yeah. Okay, everyone can sit back down, are you? And, uh, getting into Nepenthe, so... Yes. What, what's this one called? I think it's Spaculata. Cross with Beachy Eye. Just straight Spaculata. Oh, just straight Spaculata. <laughs> And what's this? Yeah, right, and that's Maxima. That would possibly be, uh, yeah, I think Maxima. Maxima. Perba or what it was. Okay. Maxima for Perba. And that other one there, what's that one? That's uh, low eye cross with what? This is the... That's Trasmardiensis, Tras Tras cross Trasmardiensis, Tras natural hybrid from Mount Trasmardi in Sabah. Oh, wow, that's nice, isn't it? And that one you're holding there, Brian? I'm not sure. Oh, okay. That one we said was possibly... That's a not shorty eye. Maximal Beachy Eye on that one. Maximal Beachy Eye on this one looks nice to me. So that was not the shorty eye for Mount Disappointment, is it? That's the one. It's not the Beachy Eye. Oh, yeah. That's the Beachy Eye on the first one. That's the Beachy Eye on the first one. That's the Beachy Eye on the first one. Right. Just a mixture of the big clones. That's the Maximal Beachy Eye. Oh, they're nice. I think you've got some competition here, Brian. <laughs> Big competition. Oh, yeah. I think Phil's got some competition here, too. Yeah. Don't send this up to Jeff. I'd like to follow my I've got Twenty eight. Now, this is not in the heat. That's looking really heavy. So, that seat's superb. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Oh, I know it. Oh, dear. Don't bring these to the show. You'll win all the prizes. <laughs> anyway, if anyone wants some of this, they can have it. Oh, good. What, what species is it? Pig mayo. Oh, yeah, we'll go for that. Oh, man, cumber is okay. And then you just flip it out. Put a bear on it. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> 